What is up, Steamians, DTubers, Whalers, everybody out there in Crypto Nation? It's your boy, Crypto Evo, here, just in the studio. It is Friday, TGIF. Uh, crypto markets are down. Um, like what I said, I think we're seeing more weakness. I don't know if this is the weakness, but this video isn't really going to talk about the current market sediment. Instead, what I'm going to talk about is the live stream yesterday with Ned, the CEO of uh, Steemit Inc. And my thoughts, I actually uh, was at my house, so I was able to watch it live, um, which was really nice. Uh, before I watched the the live stream live, I actually watched the two other ones uh, earlier on the last two weeks. They came out with... Uh, two other or ned came out with two other posts because that's gonna that is, is a new thing that he's doing is he's doing live streams i love the communication i think uh that is great um so let's jump right into what i actually thought of what he said in his uh most recent um live stream uh the let's address the elephant at first um there was obviously they had to let go of 70 percent of their workforce uh ned did go down and um asked in the most previous post that he did for questions <coughs> hundreds of people kind of wrote in asked him some questions but when he was doing the live stream he really just kind of addressed two maybe three steamians uh concerns and uh, kind of talked out, talked about them a little bit. Um, he didn't really go into like depth of like if he. He just said like uh, anything. He talked about like smooth and uh, uh, Tim Cliff. Um, both of them. He went in and like looked into some of their questions. He didn't really like answer like yes or no for anything. But he said like oh that's kind of like a good idea or no that's not. Um, I. Th I think, like, I, I've been a Steemian for well over a year. I gotta, like, check. I've probably been doing it for at least close to now almost two years. And I just, I really think, I love, I love Ned and everything. And I think what he's done was great. But usually with companies, sometimes you need to, like, change up the management a little bit. Um, and I'm just thinking of it as if I wasn't an investor and I wasn't a user of the platform for the last year, what would, if I was like somebody looking in, what would I think about Steam and Steemit and all these apps that are being built on it? So um, obviously I love like the blockchain, but I just think lately, and I, it, it's not even this most recent 70% drop, like Steam's been in a mediocre market an extreme bull market and an extreme bear market. And during those three phases, we really haven't done what, in my opinion, like there hasn't really been like, we've been growing, but I just think we haven't really taken the opportunities that we could have. And what we've done is absolutely amazing. It's great. But I just think for that next step up or that next leg up, that next ring up that ladder, we just need to kind of, maybe put new leadership in or just kind of make some drastic, uh, drastic changes. So obviously cutting 70% of the workforce was not what I was thinking because how do you really get anything done if you have less people working for you? So my first idea is let's kind of shake up this whole, um, this whole like company kind of let us know as Steamians what Steam and Inc is actually doing and see if the people themselves can do it. And if not, maybe let's think about um, putting some new management in. I know Ned doesn't want to like dive on the sword and be like, hey, I'm stepping down as CEO, but I would want him to be like a consultant or something like that. Just if you look at any big company and Besides, like, I guess, like, Facebook, maybe some other ones. But, like, if you look back, maybe Amazon, too. So maybe my my point isn't too, too valid. But there's been plenty of successful companies that they need to kind of change their leadership. Usually, 
some people are good at creating companies. Some people are good at sustaining companies. Other people are good at taking a horrible company and turning it into a profitable one. So I just think we kind of need to maybe need to change some of that stuff. Uh, obviously, we're trying to cut costs now on Steam. It. I just really think we haven't pressed the pedal down, even during like the bull market when we could have gotten a lot of adoption. I don't think we did. We didn't really grow as fast as we should have at that point, and we didn't really see the writing on the wall to start cutting when we when we needed to start cutting. So um, that that's where I am. I want to know everybody's thoughts and concerns with it, but I think it would really help out being like an, an investor sitting on the sideline looking in. If I just saw that some the CEO lost had to cut seventy percent of the workforce, bear market, understandable. But if you had to cut 70% of your workforce and then the guy is getting out there and he's playing the guitar, love the guitar, love it. But he's out there playing the guitar, thinks everything's kind of like a joke. And that might have been great in like the beginning to get Steam like on board and savvy. But to get it to do that next leg up, I think we maybe need to change some stuff. And I think we're on the right track. I just think the track needs to be escalated and pushed out faster so and that's the hardest thing is admitting that you need change so that's where i am right now i don't know what everybody else thinks but it's what i think so all right i'm out of here peace